I remember. Everything was going so well that first week, but I think because I had isolated myself for so long, the damage was already done. The axe I found at the water tower, I still had it. I remember picking it up that morning and just wanted to use it, but not on wood, on bone. I did hear Mason's plane land that morning, so sadly for him, he was going to be my first victim that day. As I marched down the path towards the airstrip, no other thoughts filled my head but the one of hurting people. I wanted people to feel my pain that I had endured. I wanted everyone to feel it. When I got to Mason, he looked shocked, scared, exactly what I wanted. And as I plowed that axe into his skull, I could feel a part of the pain disappear. I wanted more. I still had the fireworks from the night before. I hadn't planted them all. I set them up against Mason's plane in a ploy to gather people there to blow it up and everyone else with it. That didn't go exactly according to plan though. When I got to Marcus's house, I tried to convince him and Anna to come with me to the plane, but they wouldn't. I got angry and grabbed the closest thing I could hurt them with, the guitar. I was going to make them follow me. I smashed it against Marcus's bald head and then took one of the guitar strings and strangled Anna with it. With every death, I was feeling so much better, but I still wasn't satisfied. Once the light had left their eyes, I decided against taking them to the plane. I thought the explosion might be heard from the other side of town. I didn't want to warn anybody that a storm was coming their way. I dragged their lifeless bodies down towards the river. After witnessing such an horrific scene, I couldn't convince Zayda to come with me, so I picked her up and forced her to follow. I had set the boat up already. Both Marcus and Anna were there, laid out, like luggage, ready for the voyage. I put Jada in the boat and rowed down the river towards the other side of Silka. Jada with the McWilliams just like I told you. But of course, it wasn't so I could go investigate the blood. The blood trails were being created by me. I wanted to take Marcus and Anna's body to the Andrews property. I knew the Andrews would be back in a few weeks and I wanted to leave them a little surprise, as the plan was for me to be far away from Silka by then. As I was hanging their bodies up on meat hooks though, Jada must have followed me. She witnessed further onslaught as I was hanging them. I turned around and tried to chase her, but she was gone by the time I was out the house. I knew which direction she would be going in though, back towards the boat. It wouldn't have been a hardship to catch up with a little girl, so I decided to finish my plan first. I went to the clerk's house to take out Myra and Shane. I couldn't find Shane, but I think Myra was hiding. I looked around the house, couldn't find her, 
but when I made my way out onto the balcony, she made a run for it. I shot her. Not by accident, like I said. I met that bullet. I ran back to the McWilliams next, told them to get to the plane, and then went to find Jada. I found her quickly. She was struggling on the ice. I had created a hole in the ice when I was ice skating last week. I grabbed Jada and threw her into the hole, into the ice cold water. I watched her struggle for a bit, then held her head under the water until she struggled no more. I was lucky with Shane. I found him by the river as I was making my way back towards the plane. I stabbed him and moved on. As for the McWilliams, the finale was prepared earlier for this moment. I got a comfortable distance from the plane, then pressed that trigger. And I blew that plane up, and blew the McWilliams up with it. <laughs> and then... I then made my way back home, and... This isn't real, is it? The police aren't even here yet. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, I killed them all. Why? What have I done? Oh, darling, did this all start when you left me? Divorce me? I just can't. What have I? <sighs> if only I could smell your glorious scent one last time. Oh? Oh? What? Not you two! Not you two! Oh, what have I become? I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs>